Hey there superstars, it is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer and coach from Live Love Give and I'm coming to you again today and I really felt called to share with you um, a little bit more of the late Susan Jeffers work. So yesterday in yesterday's Facebook Live, um, we spoke a little bit about her amazing work and the book that she has, which I call one of the all-time classics in personal development, which is Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. And I kind of was just like, after that our conversation that we had yesterday, I was like, when did she pass away? I, I, I knew she was gone, but I wanted to do a bit more research and I jumped on and just kind of did a bit of a Google search and I came across what I thought were awesome, what she calls fear truths. And I'm gonna share them with you guys today. There's five of them. And ultimately my purpose for sharing them with you is to, to see what fear you're currently battling with. So. Put that in your mind right now. What is something, what is a fear that you've got going on? Um, what is an area of your life where you're not moving forward in and you're continuing to hold yourself back? Maybe you've got a sense of helplessness or you just feel lost or trapped or whatever it is, but I want you to bring that to the forefront of your mind and ultimately I want to share these five fear truths um, with you in the hope that they will allow you to break through and break free of your current set of fears and give you the courage and the confidence to, to go after it and to stop getting in your way. I'm also, I've also been listening to um, Mel Robbins' book, um, The Five Second Rule. I think we've all listened to it or we've all read it or whatever. It's great. Um, you know, it's so simple and I think this ties into it as well, you know, um, and I'll get into a little piece of that. But at the end of the day, we want the courage, we want the confidence to go after the things that matter to us and we want to get out of our own way and stop living in fear and insecurity because it's limiting us on so many levels and in particular how we feel in an everyday, um, in the, our everyday existence. So let's get into it. The very first fear truth, and I want you guys to drop me a comment, let me know um, which one of these fear truths, number one, two, three, four, or five, are resonating with you. You can see yourself get stuck in them and how they're gonna help you. I'd love, love, love to hear from you and share any wisdom that you guys have. Join in the conversation. I get so energized by you guys. So fear truth number one is the fear will, go, will never go away as long as you continue to grow. All right, so, and that's a good thing. Okay, so I want to talk into each of these. So I'm going to let you know what the fear truths are, then I'm going to talk into them a little bit. So the fear will never go away so long as you're growing. You know, the, at the end of the day, you can picture yourself in this little circle called your comfort zone. And, you know, you feel kind of comfortable here, but this is the place. If you stay here, if you don't grow, if you don't like look over the edge and jump over and you stay where it's comfortable, you, you have no fulfillment, right? So you just, you're just living in that everyday existence. You're just doing the same old thing. You're connecting with the same old people. You're experiencing the same old challenges. Um, you're, you've got the same old relationship, you know, and it's just kind of like blur. And there's that inner part of you that's thirsty for something more, that knows that you've got more to give, experience, share, go deeper on whatever it is, right? And so, you know, you can sit in there, but at the end of the day, you've just got to realize that fear is an inevitable part of your existence. And you've got to see that, you know, I'm. you want to be somebody who's growing. You wouldn't be listening to these messages if you weren't somebody who wanted to grow, right? Um, you know, you want to get to that next level of your limitless potential. So you've got to grow to that point. So you've got to be the kind of person who's, you know, you might be in the center of that comfort zone, but you're willing to edge your way up to the out, to the to the edge, right? To and you're standing on that edge and you're looking at the unknown and it looks freaking terrifying, right? Like you're in a lot of fear because most people stay stuck in certainty and comfort of what they know. But, and even if they don't like it, even if it's uncomfortable, because at least they know, right? And to venture out into the unknown is just too terrifying. But at the end of the day, we must realize that you're you're always going to have fear. It's never going to go away. Um, that next level of your growth, you know, I've transformed my feeling of fear 
and I slip back into the, the same old patterns that we all do at different times. But I've transformed that feeling of fear as excitement, right? You've heard me talk into this many times before. You know, the same physiological response of fear and excitement, they're the same, right? It's just the meaning that you're placing on that feeling um, of your internal experience, okay? So, you know, like Susan Jeffers would say, feel the fear, do it anyway. So we've got, that's the first truth. The fear is never gonna go away so long as you continue to grow. Just accept that, right? Fear truth number two, the only way to get rid of your fear of doing something is to go out and do it. You know, you've heard me say time and time again that, you know, um, inaction breeds fear and doubt and taking action breeds confidence and courage. You know, this is where Mel Robbins, um, the five second rule comes into play so awesomely, right? As soon as you get that idea, that thought or that feeling to move in a direction that might inspire you, before your mind can take over, five, four, three, two, one, get into action, get it done, all right? So, and as if you want to know the science behind it and you want to hear um, a whole bunch of case studies and all that sort of stuff, I recommend get Mel Robbins' book, The Five Second Rule. Um, but really, that's what it is. That's the whole thesis of the book is to get into that you know, tried and proven strategy to trick your overthinking mind into, um, you know, just kind of getting it out of the way so you can trust your gut, trust your intuition and move in a direction that inspires you. Okay, so that's um, fear truth number two. The only way to get rid of the fear of doing something is to just get out there and do it, right? That's the one. Now, um, fear truth number three, the only way to feel better about yourself is to go out and do it, right? So when we stay, when we have an idea, we have something that, you know, we would ultimately, if we we're really honest with ourselves, we'd love to move toward, um, but then we get stuck in our fears, we're overthinking, we're stopping ourselves from taking action. We start to diminish our self-belief, our trust within ourselves, um, our worthiness, all sorts of things come into the equation when we're not in alignment with what authentically inspires us and we're not taking action towards it. We're not honoring ourselves, right? So ultimately what we need to do is we need to realize that the moment you get into action, if you're not feeling good about yourself, I, I, whenever I don't feel good about myself, whenever I get stuck in a rut, the first thing I do is go, where is I, where am I out of alignment? Where am I saying I want to do something, but not doing it? Where am I not honoring my, um, you know, my dreams and my aspirations. And when I identify that and start taking action in that direction, I start to feel better about myself. Funny that how that happens, right? Okay. Um, fear truth number four, not only are you afraid of facing the unknown, but so is everyone else. I don't care who they are, you know, um, all of our, you know, those greatest mentors in your life, those people that you aspire to be more like, those people that you learn from, I guarantee you they've got their own fears. The only difference is they have a good relationship with fear. They look at the fear and they they know that that's a trigger for them. That's that's like shining the light on the pathway for growth for them. And they're like, oh, feeling the fear, I'm going for it, right? And that that is a um, kind of like a feedback mechanism to show you that you're on path with what authentically inspires you. You know, so you know that that's the kind of mindset that you want to have in terms of feeling the fear, doing it anyway, and knowing that you're no different to everybody else. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not broken. Like we're all experiencing our own subjective world of fear all of the time. But what are you going to do about it? Or what are you not going to do about it, right? Are you just going to sit there, let fear overtake your dreams, your aspirations till you end up in a life that you just you're regretting that you have no fulfillment in, or are you going to be the kind of person who goes, you know what, no matter what I've done or not done, I'm going to move forward in this inspiring direction now. I've got a fresh start here. I'm not going to blame myself for opportunities lost. I, but I, from this point on, I've got too much knowledge. I've got too much self-awareness to hold myself back anymore. And I'm not going to let my insecurities and my fears, like everybody else has, get in the way of creating my best life. All right. So that's the kind of mindset that we need to have. And then finally, the fifth fear truth is that pushing through fear 
is less frightening than living with the bigger underlying fear that comes from a feeling of helplessness. Okay, so that's a big one, but let me unpack it for you. So it is much more terrifying, if you really think about it, to live an existence where you never push the needle forward and you just live in this disempowered state of helplessness. Okay, that is that to me is terrifying, like not living my dreams, not giving it a go, not following my inspiration, not being authentic, like that absolutely terrifies me way more than putting myself out there in an than it, putting myself out there in an inspired direction will ever be able to terrify me. All right? So that's the kind of also mindset. These are all mindset shifts, okay? So we're all human beings. We're all living our own subjective experience. We're all dealing with the same sort of fears, insecurities in our own subjective way. But what makes the difference between the human beings who absolutely go out there and live to their limitless potential is that they do not let fear, which is, you know, inevitable and across the board no matter who you are, they don't let that overtake their dreams and aspirations and what's authentically inspiring to them. Okay? So now is the time I hope that this message um, has you know inspired you to just think about what are the fears currently going on in my life that are preventing me from living my best life okay and go to work with them and if you want to dive really deep into how to tap into your subconscious how to bring those fears to the surface so that you can break through them wipe the slate clean and ultimately reach the next level of your limitless potential without those blocks getting in your way any longer, I definitely invite you guys to join the Limitless Potential Academy, the monthly masterclasses. You can jump on my website, the link is up above, and come and join our team, and we go deep every single month on a new topic and a new strategy to, to get you to your next level. This week, we've got a new masterclass coming out on Thursday evening if you're in the States, um, and Friday morning morning um, or Friday lunchtime, I think it is Aussie time, I should know that. Um, and it's going to be on the five elements of an extraordinary relationship. So whether you're in a relationship or you're single, you know, at the end of the day, if you want to create an extraordinary quality of relationship, not just ordinary, not just mediocre, I'm talking the best of the best, you know, where fulfillment and expansion resides, you know, in depth of connection, then you're definitely going to want to be a part of our next monthly masterclass coming up Thursday evening, Friday morning, wherever you are in the world. Um, that's coming out this very week. So we've only got a couple more sleeps um, until that is coming out. So I hope to see you in class. If you're not currently part of the masterclasses, the link is up above. Like I said, you can join and um, you'll get also access to all the previous monthly masterclasses um, in your library to stock up your tool belt with the best tools um, so that you can break through to your next level. So Enough from me. I really want to dive in with you guys. Um, have you got any questions or comments or words of wisdom or feedback or any great stuff or you just want to say hi? I always love hearing from you guys and uh, definitely let me know, you know, what is your current fear? Um, uh, you know, what one of those fear truths uh, resonates with you? Which one is helpful to you? Well, let me know. All right, let's jump in. I've got Loki, great to see you, and Shane, and uh, Angelist, Evangelist, sorry, Ugh. Um, and Kabsu and um, Elias, very good. I'm loving that you're finding some value here. And hello to you, Shane. Great to see you. And Dawn, yay. And uh, Bina, nice to see you live. Always great to see you, Bina. Thanks for joining. And Grant's here as well. And Shane, hope you had a great Easter and long weekend, my good friend. Thank you so much, Shane. I absolutely did. I hope you did as well. I did a lot of work, um, but that's, that's my favorite thing in the world to do because I get to connect with you guys. So... I love it, Shane. And uh, Philippe's here as well. Philippe, I think I'm talking to you very, very shortly. Can't wait to meet you. And Julie's here as well. And Shane, so agree. Um, got to keep growing and breaking through fears. Can't break them all at once. You got it. Absolutely. And uh, yes, you're loving the five second rule. Awesome. Take action while positive. Love it. Absolutely. And like I said, in Mel Robbins' book, 
she goes through um, the science, she goes through a bunch of case studies, so you can see it's a proven strategy um, for all you guys who want the deets a little bit more before you test something like that out, but otherwise just go for it, just test it out. You know, what's the worst that could happen? It takes five seconds of your life and it could change everything. So I love that, Shane. And Emma's here as well. And Shane, yes, just do it, just like Nike. Yeah, just kidding, seriously, you know, exactly. Just do it, you know? Um, I don't know how many times I've said that to myself, particularly over the last few days, like sometimes I can get caught up and I'm the next shining object and this thing and that thing and I've got so many projects um, in the mix right now that I literally have to just stay, say to myself, just do the right thing, like the thing that's actually gonna move the needle forward, you know? Like just get into a strategy there and I think we can all relate to wherever we wanna just do it, we gotta just do it. I love that, Shane. And Charlotte's here as well, Dawn have to watch later can't wait um i love the book feel the fear i read it twice now awesome um keep going back can't wait to hear this later have to work early this book was a great recommendation from you i love that dawn and i'm so grateful that you took action on my recommendation and you got into that amazing book by susan jeffers feel the fear and do it anyway i love that dawn and um hope to hear from you um with any of your insights when you get a chance to watch later and Jonathan, yes, agree, go for it. Use your fear as a motivator to move forward. Absolutely. You know, it's fear is just energy. So are you going to let that energy like take over or are you going to channel it into a direction that you actually want to move in? That's why I say, you know, follow your fears because they really do shine light on what you value most when you don't get stuck in the overthinking brain and you go, all right, what's this fear trying to tell me? What's it trying to alert me to? What is meaningful to me? How can I take action in the face of this fear so that it doesn't swallow me up and I can negate it? So absolutely. Absolutely, Jonathan. I love that and love that you're back. And uh, Duan, fear of financial security as I get older and settle in an unhealthy relationship. Yeah, so um, sounds like, so fear of financial security, I think, yeah, so you mean fear of not having any financial security and um, definitely setting, settling in an unhealthy relationship. So the way I look at it, right, we can look at this in terms of, okay, they're my fears and I'm terrified of not having financial security and I'm terrified of not having an unhealthy, of having an unhealthy relationship, right? And what happens is, remember, where energy, um, go, where focus is, energy flows, right? When, where, what does Tony Robbins say? Where focus goes, energy flows, right? Sounds better that way. But at the end of the day, have you ever noticed that when you've had a big fear, it's ended up manifesting, you've been terrified of it, and it's ended up becoming a reality. It's really because you're channeling your energy in that direction, you know? So what you need to do is you need to trick the mind. You need to go, okay, these are my fears. Fearing that I'm, you know, not gonna have any financial security, fearing that I'm gonna settle for an unhealthy relationship. And what we need to do is the subconscious mind doesn't know like good or bad, it's just moving towards what you're focusing on. So what we need to do is go, okay, they're my fears. Now what is it that I wanna to move toward that would see me never experiencing those particular fears manifesting in my reality? So that's why we put, we're like, okay, what's my ultimate outcome? What's the towards value that I'm looking for? What is it that I wanna move? Instead of focusing on fearing never having financial security, I wanna to move toward financial security. I wanna create a strategy, a plan, an inspired vision in that direction. And the same thing, instead of like focusing on, oh, I never wanna settle for an unhealthy relationship, you gotta, you gotta go, well, what is my ultimate vision for a relationship? You know, what is an extraordinary relationship? You know, and go on, go to town in that direction. Um, I really would encourage you if that's something that you're looking to move away from and move towards an extraordinary quality of relationship to definitely join the masterclasses. Now is the perfect time because we've got that particular masterclass coming out in three sleeps from now. So um, I hope that's helpful, Duan. And, uh, and Katrina's here and Jürgen and Loki, my days are filled with lots of fear management right now. I have multiple large goals on my plate at the moment. My thankfulness for the skills and tools that I've learned over the years and continue to learn and understand is through the roof. Boom, I love that. Which includes your passion and energy as well, Vanessa. Oh, thank you so much, Loki. And I love being on this journey with you and getting to witness 
your transformation and you breaking through and becoming that next level of you. So Loki, that is awesome. I'm sending all my empowerment your way for those big goals and hope to see you on Friday. I think I, I think I saw you, you're coming. So can't wait to connect with you live. That's awesome. And Philippe, um, perfect message, overtaking the fear, learning to handle the non-action state. Absolutely. Yeah, we always want to get, just keep that momentum going. You know, the worst thing that we can do is get into the overthinking mind, right? And remember, I always like to say that confusion is your overthinking mind trying to outbattle the wisdom of your internal wisdom, all right? That internal voice, okay? So, thinking about it that way because we can get so burned out and we, we, we get confused about where we're going, we get burned out, we're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's just like overthinking. That's why I, I mentioned Mel Robbins' five second rule because it's just awesome. It works, right? So I love that. Thank you so much for sharing, Philippe. And John, hello to you. And Josie, hello. And Shane, yes, great weekend. And I understand I am the same. Well, all good. Awesome, Shane. And appreciate you always, Vanessa. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much, Shane. And I appreciate you too. And wishing you the same. Great to see you. And uh, Duan, appreciate you. Thanks so much. You're so welcome, Duan. I love having you live. And thank you so much for sharing your fears and putting yourself out there. That's very bold and courageous and I love it. And thanks to everybody for joining me live. I am super grateful for each and every one of you guys for just randomly taking some time out of your day. I hope it's been worth it. I hope today's message has served you. And as always, I'm sending you guys all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope that it's beautiful, amazing and extraordinary that you're doing something super empowering and today's message has absolutely served you. Sending you guys all of my love and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Much love.